We are going to learn how a supplier can register the new digital certificate to be used in e-procurement system. Uh, first of all, to use e-procurement system, you must have a digital certificate, which you get uh, from govca.rw portal, uh, where you come and apply for a new digital certificate, and then follow the instructions depending on your category. Then, after getting your certificate, you go back to the same portal under Digital Certificate Services, download your certificate as already shown in a previous video. In this current video, we are going to show you now how to register your new .pfx certificate in e-procurement system, which will now be mandatory in order to log in to e-procurement to send your bids or perform other functions which require certificates in e-procurement. We are going to start with a user who had never registered in e-procurement before, uh, but uh, you already have a company that is registered uh, and then you want to register a new user of that company or register a new, a new certificate for that company for e-procurement a user is equal to a certificate. You go to the portal, to Umucho portal. Uh, kindly note that this is just a, a test portal. It is not the live one. For the live portal, you have to go to umucho.gov.rw. And then you go to supplier reg. Then you go to register supplier user certificate. You must know the team for your company or your team if you are an individual consultant. Put your team. But you have must have downloaded your PFX certificate as already shown in a previous video. You must also know where you kept your new certificate you have then to add the password for the new digital certificate and then do such as your company is already registered you are now offered an option to add the new user because the new user was not already registered you have to fill in all the information required here before proceeding kindly note that here we have a supplier name that is already displayed and we are required to add the username this is because a supplier can have several users and obviously each user we have a different name for an individual consultant both supplier name and username will be the same but uh, for a company the supplier name is different you have to add now your ID, national ID, and verify if the national ID is correct. Put your address. Put your department and your position. Let's say you are the Managing Director. You put your phones. If you don't have another phone, you can just repeat the other, the first one. The system will have captured your email because it comes with a certificate. And this is the email that uh, will be used by the system to send you the different notifications that uh, the system sends to the to users and then you have to search for the certificate that you downloaded and again put your password and then save so this is it you have registered a new user for your company and you are able to log in with the new PFX certificate. In case you are already a user, you were already a user of e-procurement system and you are using other previous 
digital certificates, but you didn't have the opportunity to register this new uh, .pfx digital certificate, you can follow the same process to register your new certificate. You come to supplier registration, go to register supplier user certificate, add the TIN of the company, choose your downloaded uh, .pfx digital certificate, you capture your password, and then search, and then do add user. However, unlike for a new user where you have to capture all the information of the user, here at the system, we notice that you already have an account. That's why your name will already be displayed and the system will just update your account to enable you to use the new .pfx certificate to continue using your account. So after choosing your certificate and putting your password, you will be able to save your new certificate with which you will now be able to log in to e-procurement. To log in to e-procurement, you have to go to login as usual then put the email that is associated with the certificate that you have registered. Click on the button login and you will be presented uh, with a list of certificates that you have already registered in the system. You might be uh, a user in different companies or in different public institutions. You will see the list of all those certificates registered under that email here and then you have to choose the, the certificate with which you want to log in put its password and then confirm and here it is you are already logged in to e-procurement system as a supplier after logging in at times you will be requested to input the password for the certificate with which you logged in. For example, when you want to submit a bid or notify a contract, so you will just have to enter the password because the system has already registered your certificate. Last but not least, you will now be able to use any machine, uh, your Mac or any other operating system to access e-procurement system it is no longer bound to Windows platforms as it used to be.